Hello and welcome to this quick lecture on noise pollution. Please listen and watch carefully to grasp the important points discussed in this lecture. Do not forget to show your support by subscribing and sharing with your friends. So let's begin. Noise pollution. Both noise and sound are forms of vibrations audibly manifested. Noise pollution occurs when they become unpleasant or unbearable. Noise pollution is measured in units called decibels. Decibels indicate the intensity of sound. Increasing noises have corresponding higher decibels and can be categorized accordingly. The effects of noise pollution creates a collection of health problems ranging from headache to loss of hearing. Noise pollution effects can be immediate or on prolonged exposure to the noise. The sources or types of noise pollution Transportation noise Transportation noise includes the general noise pollution caused by vehicular traffic in roads and also includes air traffic and even noise along railway lines. Industrial areas generate a lot of noise pollution both inside and outside. Operation of heavy machinery and routine operations such as cutting or grinding generates noise pollution and this is collectively called as industrial noise. Neighborhood noise. This noise pollution is routinely caused by festivals, home appliances, loud music and firecrackers to name a few examples and they can be generally classified under neighborhood noise creating disturbance. Now how do we prevent noise pollution? Noise pollution can be prevented in a variety of ways. The most effective methods are the use of trees which naturally absorb sound and also by enforcing regulations against preventable forms of noise pollution. The control of noise pollution. Noise pollution can be controlled using three basic principles namely source reduction, transmission path intervention and by using noise cancellation technologies. Source reduction of noise pollution involves routine maintenance of machine parts by oiling or lubrication for smooth operation and the use of paddings or bushes to reduce vibrations between different parts of the machine. Noise pollution can be blocked effectively by using windows for buildings. This is a very simple method and people wearing earplugs or headphones can also prevent the transmission of noise directly to their ears and this is collectively called as personal protective equipment or PPE. Noise pollution can be cancelled out by simply directing an equal and opposite frequency to the one being generated by the noise. However, this is quite expensive and is only used for special requirements such as those by musicians. So thank you very much for watching this short lecture on noise pollution, one of the most obvious and yet overlook forms of environmental pollution. Please like, share and subscribe for more of such lectures. Bye bye.